What's up everybody? Thanks again for checking out another video. This video is something that everybody's been asking for weeks about. Um, as we all know, we want to be able to put an engine guard on the front here uh, in case we want to put lower fairings on here, lower fairings with additional speakers or additional storage, uh, engine guard to be able to put highway pegs on um, if you're not running the Ciro 3D um, highway pegs that mount to the, uh, the floorboard mounts. So this video we're installing the engine guard. So this is going to be one of them troubleshoots that um, we've got to figure out here because they really, Harley Davidson doesn't even offer it. So I'm doing a little trial and error. So what I ended up doing is they, Harley Davidson does sell a replacement uh, bracket for the steering stabilizer, which is this chrome piece that sits right up here on the frame. Now those have two little hooks that go over um, the support arm for the bottom of the front fairing. What we're doing is we're replacing this, just like on, uh, let's say, a Rogue Glide Special, Rogue Glide Standard that doesn't have an engine guard. When they put the engine guard on, they've got to put one of these brackets on. So what this does is this attaches to the engine guard to support the underneath of the front fairing. Um, because there's four bolts that hold this, this whole fairing assembly on. If you don't replace this, this fairing is gonna, it's gonna flex and it's gonna move. You really don't want that. That's why they've got this support mount on the bottom because you're supporting a lot of weight. You've got speakers, you've got stereo, you've got gauges, everything. So this is the bracket that you would put on a normal road glide. Um, and it would, this basically would be the brake side of, of the bike. What I'm doing is I'm using the same bracket. However, instead of the one that goes on the brake side, I'm taking that one and putting it on the clutch side. As you see, it will actually come out and give you more space for the steering stabilizer as it moves through there. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna give it, uh, like I said, trial and error. Um, if this doesn't work, we need to figure something else out. So the one thing that we need to make sure that we do is um, we have to take the outer fairing off again. I think I've taken this outer fairing off more in the last month than I did my Rogue Glide Special uh, in the couple years that I had it. So um, with lights and everything, stereo, uh, whatnot. So got to take the outer fairing off. Um, and start getting all this stuff prepped up. Again, thanks for checking out my videos. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, share the videos, and again, please comment. I love the comments. If you got questions, I try to get to you uh, in a timely manner with an answer or a way I can steer you into uh, what you're looking for. So again, let's get into it. All right, everybody, there's that uh, chrome silver piece I was telling you about that uh, kind of overlaps, overlips, whatever you want to call it, um, that lower support arm for the front fairing. So we're going to be taking that off, um, actually removing the steering stabilizer here and removing this whole plate that's going to be coming off. That's what that uh, other additional plate that I bought, um, the steering stabilizer mount, that I bought from Harley Davidson that I'm gonna replace. Doesn't have these, uh, these little tangs on them. So as you see, I've got the outer fairing taken off. And this is the, the mounting area right here that um, we're gonna be taking this off. So this whole support arm that is attached here, well, where it attaches at right here is where the engine guard needs to go. That actual mount is for the engine guard. That bolt right there is where the engine guard bolts into. So we need to figure out something here, Harley, as far as if anybody wants to put engine guards or lower fairings or whatever else um, on the Rogue Glide 3, we need to come up with a different solution. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and get all this stuff taken off and uh, we'll go from there. So, 
I got the engine guard installed, but the problem is the fairing support arms did not work. Um, I think they have tipped this uh, road glide fairing. So normally it would be sitting like so. And I think that they tipped it this way because I couldn't get that mount on here onto this. This is where the mount was uh, for, the, for the lower portion support arms uh, for the front fairing. So this and the bracket that would line up from the engine guard was about a half inch off. So I'm thinking that the fairing itself I think it's been tipped because it's on both sides. It's tipped. But I was looking at everything and kind of moving some stuff around as far as support goes. Um, most of the support for the weight of the fairing, which we're talking about the stereo, we got the gauges and we got the speakers, all of that is resting right under here where those big, those four big mounts or bolts that are sitting underneath there um, are mounted to the actual frame, to the neck. Um, so really the only thing those supports were doing was kind of holding from here back. So basically these two compartments, that's what I was, I was seeing. As far as um, rigidity and stuff, it's, it's pretty solid in there still. And I know once we get um, the outer fairing back on, that the outer fairing, it screws in there. And that's gonna add some more additional support in there. So yeah, the engine, the engine guard worked. Um, the Harley Davidson part that I got, which I'm sorry, this, it's black now instead of chrome but this part right here that you order from Harley. And like I said, all the part numbers um, that I'm utilizing, I will list in the description of the video. So if you want part numbers, look in the description of the video. So I'll have the part number for this. I'll have the part number for the engine guard. The one thing I did notice with this engine guard that I got off of Amazon is it's not a gloss black but it's not flat either. It still kind of has a sheen to it, but I'm not gonna argue for 79 freaking dollars for an engine guard that literally it mounts exactly the same way an engine guard that you would pay $350 for. So um, yeah, the next thing I'm gonna do is probably go shopping for some lower fairings and a couple highway pegs. I don't know. All right, let me get this all buttoned back up here. Yeah, it's kind of a mess. Again, when you're doing work over your gas tank, over your fender, anything, please put something on it. Um, I put the, the towel down on the ground too, just to kind of protect the engine guard um, from when I was putting that up in there. So another thing with the engine guard too, if you end up doing this on your own, that top lip, so there's a top lip on top of the engine guard bar. That actually sits behind the plate that's in the frame. And then this mounts through a hole that's already there that Harley put in there. Let's get over here. So there's a hole behind this bolt. There's a hole in the uh, plate that's welded to the frame. There's a tab that's on top of the engine guard. It actually slides up under that plate and then it's threaded, so you're able to thread through that hole to put this bracket on there. And then again, the mounts down here for the engine guard. Those plastic caps that are in there are sons of bitches. Those things are like, they're pressed in there, um, trying to get them out. If somebody else has got a great idea how to get them out, so be it, but I ended up literally taking a pick and getting my needle nose pliers on them and twisting them out, like unscrewing them from the damn holes. All right, here they are. Let's see if I can focus in on this. 
Yeah, so these are pressed into those holes. Pain in the butt. Damn it, no, I won't do it. There we go. So there was a plastic cover that goes on top and these are pressed into the threads down in there. So basically I had to grab them with the uh, needle nose pliers and basically unscrew them out of the damn hole. So yeah, that's kind of crazy, but no, those went in very well. The one thing you want to make sure that you watch, <coughs> excuse me, is um, the brake lines and stuff. So like when you're lining all this stuff up, um, this mount is right underneath all the brake, the rear brake um, controls, I guess. I don't even know what the technical name of it is anymore. Um, but the mount is right underneath it. So you just need to make sure that when you're swinging this in that you're not gonna be hitting these with this part of the engine guard. So yeah, no, it's pretty good. All right, let me button this sucker up again. All right, there it is. Engine guard is on. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. Uh, yep, all worked out just fine. I got everything buttoned up. I don't have that lower front fairing support at all on there. I think it'll be fine. I'm sure some engineer at Harley Davidson will probably say, no, nope, that's not the best route to do that. But I've got the engine guard on there. That's the main important thing. Engine guard. I got the engine guard. All right. Well, like I said, yeah, I'm screwing that all up. Like I said, I've got all the part numbers, um, the links to where I got all this stuff, Amazon, Harley Davidson, whatever, um, in the description of the video. So if you have any questions on anything, you can leave comments, but look at the description. The link is there. It'll take you right to it. So anyway, all right, well, there we go. Road Glide 3 engine guard. Put it on there, not a big deal. All right, if you're gonna do it, just do it. That's it, just do it. All right, you guys take care. Stay safe, be blessed, give more. Peace.